Uh, welcome back to Fish Tank. Welcome back to Fish Tank. We're playing volume six. Do you want to narrate or shall I? Uh, go ahead. You go ahead and do that. My okay. name is, uh, Dockby. Oh, I'm Empty Jester. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Armed with your fresh heaps of hard-won cultural knowledge, you continue on your journey. Troll life sure is complicated, not to mention troll romance. Is also complicated. You really aren't interested in getting into all of that. Your life is complicated enough, and adding an additional level of angst on top of that does not sound ideal. Friendship is about all you can handle right now. And boy, do you love to handle it! <laughs> <laughs> Just get your fingers all up in there and squish that shit around. Are we going Delicious. with L word? Or yeah, it's uh, do left to right as per usual. As per usual. Yeah. Does it seem like the art quality is different this time, or is that just yeah? It, well, well, every every one has had different artists. Like oh, is main... that true? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Can... Yeah, that's cool. Okay, L word. Just reminds me of like Twilight. You know what I mean? Well, I think it's like a mix of that and the L word. You know, like oh. The, the I gotcha. I see. I see what's being thrown down here. Nice. Um, yeah. You... Do you want me to continue narrating? Uh, well, that's. Do you want me to voice the weird, freaky backpack kids, or do you want me to voice the like smooth lesbian? I don't know. Which is your type? I think I'm more na naturally. I'm kind of a freaky backpack kid, to be honest. <laughs> okay. So then you narrate this bit, and I'll be the smooth lesbian. I'll, I'll, I'll make a bold attempt. Smooth is not yeah. usual, my usual forte, but I can try. Lesbian, on the other hand, you're married to a man. That's a joke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're ready to meet someone new, but you have no idea where to go. You're kind of hoping you'll just bump into someone, which has been the case thus far. It didn't say that, but... There we like have this it. Bitch. <laughs> While you're thinking it, you do. You bump into somebody. The troll takes a step back to look at you, eyebrows lifted in surprise, while you sputter apologies. Then you notice the color of the symbol on her shirt, and your blood turns to ice, which Shit, is dangerous. Given what you picked up about troll society, she'd probably be well within her rights to attack you, or at least treat you to some very hurtful insults. Alas. Well, hey there, little buddy. I don't know what to do with the capital L's. Just ignore <laughs> them. Just shout. Just you shout. Look, kind of lost. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Everything okay? Ha. Huh. That was a lot friendlier than you expected. I'm cleaning my glasses so I can't actually see shit right now. I that love said, that feeling. <laughs> Like, wow, my eyesight sure has gone to total shit. That's bad. Um, that said, this troll's look is intimidating. She's smiling at you, but the leather jacket and undercut make you think that you shouldn't fuck with her. I just add words when, like, you my brain stutters. You're yeah. allowed. They also look really dope. Like, maybe this is someone whose name would look really nice in your address book. Like, people saying, like, this is, like, kind of like Riska, and I'm like, Riska... Like, Riska and not parentheses Riska is fucking so straight-laced and kind of an asshole about it most of the time. Yeah. You could tell because she was an asshole to herself. <laughs> Riska's just look, an asshole. That's true. That is also true. Uh, look, you know you've been pretty non-discriminating with your friend taste so far. You're grateful for every taste of affection thrown your way, but you can admit you've barked up the friendship tree of some real weirdos. At least we're learning. We have a learning curve. Yeah, we, we're slowly, slowly getting there. But this time, you really want to be friends with this girl. In fact, it feels like earning her approval might even raise your opinion of yourself or your social cash. She's just, like, seriously cool. You tell her you are lost. Not that you have anywhere to be. Just seeing where the night goes, huh? Been there. Huh. <laughs> I could tell you some stories. Oh, man. I don't want to be rude, but you're an alien, right? You betcha. You confirm. That is one of the few solid facts you know. And while you're going to hang out with... 
and you're, and you're going to <laughs> you're going to hang on to that with both hands while there's still your hands or not your grab pods or your gesture appendages or whatever neat <laughs> you can call me l word btw what's her actual name mystery i don't know <laughs> i bet you have all kinds of cool alien stories haha <laughs> you want to hang with me you betcha I know a place near here to grab a drink if you want. Does she mean platonically, or is she asking you out? It's really hard to tell. She's so cool and disaffected. If that was a date suggestion, she's got to be the smoothest motherfucker around. You're kind of hoping she just wants to get you to know you better. She's beautiful, but it seems like going on a date with her would be a lot of pressure. Mostly, you just really, really want her to like you. She brushes a piece of lint off her jacket, and your desperation for her attention grows. You say yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alien yeah. time. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Alien time. Alien time. Let's go. Let's Wait. go. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hmm. Wait? Come on, you can't can't you even just go hang out with someone without some kind of whole rigmarole? That's such a good word. Really, yeah. Are you fated to always be bombarded with branching choices, choosing randomly between fates that almost always seem to end in some kind of violence? <laughs> some meta shit right there. Right? There's actually two places we could go. Oh, that's a problem. You wanna try the closer place or the farther place? Fine. Fine. You'll make another choice. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Place. The farther place. We can walk and talk. You tell her you're in no rush and the farther place is fine. There's not a lot of information to go off. We with should here. honestly save before we make a choice because we're always making bad choices. No, we only make bad choices with one of the things that we do. Like, we have one good run and one bad run every single time. Oh, somehow. you're right. That is how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, anyway, so hopefully this is a good run. Yeah, hopefully. She takes off in the same direction she was walking before you bumped her. You follow behind, trying to act like you totally belong here, next to this genuine troll babe. Babe. You walk next to cool people all the time. It's practically a hobby. Uh, me too. Including your lawyer vampire friend. No, we were the vampire. Uh, what? The lawyer friend? We no, were... he liked vampires. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was cool. I liked him. After a couple blocks, though, she stopped short. You narrowly avoid bumping into her again. Fancy to see you here. She finishes... Fishes... She fin Loading. <laughs> she fishes her palm husk out of her pocket, and you can see that it's vibrating noisily. She looks at the screen and theatrically rolls her eyes. Ugh. Ugh. This is the so things. annoying. I'm sorry, but like, there's just this thing. I have to deal with it, I guess. I swear to fuck. She just wants an excuse to see me. It's like transparently obvious. Like how she keeps flirting with all my friends too. What or just bitch. magically showing up places we used to go to together. It's honestly kind of pathetic. Like... You're trying so hard to make it seem like you're over me that it just shows you aren't. Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You may not understand the specifics, but it's clear she's including you in some kind of social situation she's dealing with. Wow, astute observation. Astute. Wow. <laughs> That's what you do when you've already friends with somebody. You basically just skip to the front of the line. You nod and look sympathetic. You totally get it, you tell her. You have an ex like that, too. Who is she even trying to pull? <laughs> right? It's, like, embarrassing that we even dated. We were totally gonna request combat assignments on the same ship, too. Ha, <laughs> so dumb. Anyway. Sorry, but I gotta go back to my hive. She just keeps bugging me about some shit she left there. I keep telling her I don't even think it's there. 
but she says she has all her belongings itemized or something. <laughs> Such a <laughs> dark. <laughs> I'm like the best thing that ever happened to her. You keep nodding vigorously. Your neck is starting to hurt from all the nodding. You tell Elward that she's obviously too good for whoever this girl is. I mean, I know. But I gotta deal with her shit anyway. Anyway, sorry, it's literally so dumb, but... Do you mind if we just swing by my hive on our way out? It won't take long. She's, like, terminally punctual. Lamau, she already sent me her ETA on Goral Gold Maps. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna read it? What? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is a real softball. No need to agonize over this decision. You tell her that you don't mind at all. She starts to head off, but then she stops and looks at you. Her brow furrows. Huh. You know, for an extra alternial, you're kind of cute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, you start to feel flustered as she peers at you more closely. Are you going to have to make it clear once again that you're only interested in friendship? I'm getting an idea. My ex thinks she's so cool because she's a J-blood and they have, like, a sacred duty or whatever. <laughs> What's that thing she just did on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> she makes a complicated motion. See, it's a complicated motion. She makes a complicated motion with her hand. From context, you gather this is sort of the troll jerking off gesture. <laughs> You'll file away the implications of this one to consider it at a later time. But she's probably never met an alien before. Definitely never dated one. Do you think we could pretend to be a thing? Like Red Rum. Just until she goes away. She'll fully shit herself, I swear. Just, mm -hmm. you know, don't fall in love with me, kid. <laughs> Just kidding. Really don't, though. Your heart is beating at an unusual rate. And not even because of fear this time. Fake dating again? Do, do trolls do this a lot? There must be some cultural context that makes them turn to fake relationships for security. I mean, maybe. Oh, on the one hand, I you're think they're just petty. Yeah, that's also probably true. Um, on the one hand, yeah, yeah, it's like a high school. The entire yeah. fucking plan is like a high school. <laughs> if on the <laughs> one hand, <laughs> you're an experienced fake dater by now, Elward could check on your res check your references. <laughs> My brain just autocorrects things sometimes, and it's like Elward can check on your resume, and it's like that's not that's not what that sentence says. Elward could check your references. On the other hand, you know how this ends. You know this ends with you falling in love with her. There's literally no fake dating situation that has ever ended differently. Now that would be a fun twist in a fan fiction, wouldn't it? Fake dating, wink, except they actually just become friends. Yeah. Or fake dating and then, like, they end up hating each other. <laughs> so instead of, like, friends to lovers, it's like friends to, you need to get the fuck out of my apartment because you are wrecking the place and I hate how you hate organize it. your socks and friends you never to black do the rock. dishes. <laughs> The last fake relationship you did agonizingly circled the rim of romance before falling out and into your hands for a sick friendship rebound. But it was a close one. Uh, you might be like a quarter of the way in love with her already. She looks like troll Natalie Dormer. It is definitely way too dangerous to say yes to this. Do it anyways. Fake date. <laughs> I'm gonna just say real fast. Okay, yeah... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I almost hit the quit game. Yeah, fake date. Fake date? The fake date. Super enthusiastic. Fake, fake date. Fake date. Fake date. You grasp her hands, your eyes shining. Yes, you tell her. Yes, you will fake date her. You are ready to dive into this thing together, side by side, for as long as she needs, with your whole heart and mind, whatever it takes. Whoa. Whoa. That's... Hmm. You were, like, really ready to go for it. Like, about to jump right in. 
Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't want to lead you on. Give me a sweet, sweet friendship. Oh no, you way overdid it. You shrank back mortified. No, you tell her. <laughs> you <laughs> fall in love. You weren't even thinking it. Just thinking about helping her with her awkward situation. Uh-huh. Hey, you mentioned your ex earlier, right? Is that recent? Like, were you trying to rebound with me or something? Because if it's recent, I mean, I get it. Breakups can be hard. I mean, mine was fine. Completely mutual. But I get it. Your ex only exists in your imagination, but Edward is giving you an out here, and you're going to take it. You're not trying to look sad. Breakups are hard, after all. That part isn't a lie, just a well-known truth of life. You know what? I can blow my ex off for now. I'm gonna take you out. Take you somewhere special. Where you can forget. Have a little me time, you know? I think you deserve it. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, a little hiccup there, but maybe you've managed to turn this around. As long as she doesn't make it too romantic, we don't want to cough a hot dog down her throat. You feel <laughs> bad that she's you're newly heartbroken. But it's comforting that her reaction is to try to cheer you up rather than pouncing on you at your most vulnerable like some other trolls would do. Actually, she's being really nice. Maybe this friendship train is on the right track after all. I don't believe that. She's going to sell you to the black market. Muffins! Um, Elward oh, takes no. you to what appears to be a coffee shop. Oh? No. It has all the trappings of a coffee shop. Mugs, bean grinders, fiddly little machines with tubes, tables with people working on husk taps. The small area is not coffee, though. It's something earthier and a little spicy. You're gonna guess ground up grubs. Just a hunch. I what? like the 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 theme of just cannibalism. accepted cannibalism. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird. Here we are. Let's we get sure something are. to drink. Let's do it. And wait for it to start. Uh, it. You let her choose your drink. She brings you a steaming mug of something hot. You sip it cautiously. Not bad at all. No legs floating in it or anything. Nice. Just so you know, I don't know what your deal is, but this place is kinda... girls only? You're an alien, so no one's gonna even ask. Including me. But just so you know the deal, don't worry though. If anyone does ask, I'll say you're here with me. Plus, you're cute, so no one's going to mind. Winky. Do you like the diva thing? Winky face! Winky face! You're just like, shut up, diva! Stop. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you feel your face get hot. Wait, no, you're not fake dating. No fluttery feelings here. Cool, you tell her. You love this place already. Wait, what is this place? This is excessive bodily force poetry. <laughs> 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 Wait. Slam poetry, right? Right, but isn't that already a Homestuck That's thing? That's already like, a thing in Homestuck. They say slam poetry. Maybe maybe ta Tavros just tried to, like, uh, what is it, localize the terminology? I don't think Tavros was smart enough to do that, but maybe. That's also true. I He's kind know. of an idiot. He's kind of an idiot. We love him, though. A lot. Open mic night. All blood colors welcome. Now that she says it, you can see a microphone set up on one side of the cafe. An owl of blood is sitting nearby with a clipboard writing down the names of people who want to perform. You ever do excessive bodily force poetry? Only in the bathroom. You look back at her. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at you with those heavy lidded eyes and that flirtatious spark, those big old teeth. Um, last time you let your enthusiasm get the best of you, she pulled back. But then she took you to this cool ladies only hangout. Saying yes hasn't led you wrong so far, probably. Unless there's going to be some consequence <laughs> you haven't got to yet. No, it's probably fine. Last time, sh uh... Why is it going backwards? No, I don't know.
What's happening? What's happening? Jessica? I don't understand. Are you pressing something? No, I'm just pressing the button. Just clicking away. Just clicking away. I'm just clicking on the mouse. Okay, okay. This is you. Okay. Okay. You tell her you dabbled. You try to shoot the same kind of coy look she's giving you. Is this flirting? You can say. You're riding this wave of plausible deniability and you've never coming down. Really? I didn't think you'd say yes. That's so cool, huh? Dang, you should, you should go sign up. I've never done it myself. But I like to come here and watch. You should totally do it. No, nope. Uh, until now, Elward has been pretty disengaged. But she seems actually excited about this. You gulp. You've never done slam poetry. But how hard could it be? I don't believe in this. You got this. I don't believe it's a good idea. No. You go up to the Olive Blood and put your name down on the list. Then you go back to Elward. Giving her what you hope is a look as smooth as an expensive brandy. Yum. Get ready, you tell her. She laughs like you're being corny instead of smooth, but it's good nature, so that's okay. You settle down to watch the excessive bodily force poetry. Maybe you can pick up a few tips. Are you gonna... No, I'm... I... Uh, uh, before long, you notice a couple differences between this and the slam poetry you've seen before. First of all, your unfamiliarity with troll cultures is causing you to miss a lot of the metaphors. You think some of these poems are erotic? People are reacting like they are, but all the body parts sounds like someone did magnetic fridge poetry with an intro to engineering. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tubes and pushers and levers and sex. You watch the people around you and try to react the same way they do. Second, troll slam poetry does involve actual slamming. Several poets, it seems to be the cooler colors of the rainbow end, uh, or cooler colors of the rainbow, end their performances with acts of passionate violence against nearby chairs, tables, or even members of the audience. Good for them. Artists, you guess. Temperamental. L word doesn't seem surprised. One troll with a dark purple symbol breaks the mic stand in half over her knee. Elwood sits up a little straighter, popping the collar of her jacket to touch higher, a touch higher, and adjusting her hair. God, I'd die if she looked at me that way. LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag relatable. I've never had a girl that mean. I always go for the good girl spades, thinking I can change them. <laughs> like it'll be different with me, you know? If our hate is true enough, it's a bad habit. So, wait, she likes f black romances with good girls, and she's like, I can make them worse, and then they yeah. never become worse. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's funny. That is funny. Nice trolls don't change. That's some advice for you, kid. You don't know how to respond to this, so you just nod wisely. If you're being totally honest with yourself, seeing Edward flustered is making you a little flustered, too. Soon everyone's being flustered. No, everyone's not, fucking flustered. They're flustered, and not that you're changing your mind about only wanting friendship, but you wouldn't mind if she looked at you a little bit with the view oh, she's giving the purple blood. Finally, it's your turn to perform. You got so into the show, you forgot you were actually going to do this. Now, walking up to the front, you wish you could forget again. So it's gonna it's gonna show us sitting in the seat, and then our face is gonna pan across the front. Probably. You clear your throat. Silence. Then a flash of inspiration hits. Please let this not be embarrassing. You embarrass yourself. You trouble understanding the troll poems because of your social uh, cultural differences. So maybe if you load your piece with references to your own world, they'll just assume it's good. Yeah. You start listing body parts you have, knees, shoulders, splings, 
Spleen, shoulders, I can't read things in order. You toss <laughs> in a few celebrity names. Steve Jobs, Frida Moreno. And then you put on the most serious poetry voice you can say and say, Numa Numa A. Another idea hits you like a wet fish to the face. Maybe if you end this with some kind of violent gesture, like the purple blood girl did, Elwood will like you more. She's gonna hate you. Mm -hmm. You seek out her face in the audience and looking right in the eyes, you slap yourself in the face as hard as you can. That's uh, not quite right. There's a smattering of luck luster claps. No one looks oppressed. A few grumbles uh, echo around the cafe. You think, you think you may have just bombed. Your budding confidence is hit with a big load of shame descending like wet concrete. Elward fucking bailed on you. <laughs> no, she's right there. No, oh, but when you get back to Elward, she's gritting. Damn, huh? That wasn't what I expected at all. It was pretty funny, though. You must have some real abdominal sausages to get up there and perform like that. Abdominal sausages. <laughs> nice job, alien. She gives you a wink. You start to perk up a little bit. She thinks you're ballsy for being fucking stupid in public. After all, you don't need to be friends with the rest of the group people in this cafe. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this one cool troll girl. And it looks like making yourself look dumb has brought you two closer together. Honestly, though? I'm surprised you didn't do a piece about your breakup. Oh, right. You completely forgot about your breakup. Or rather, your fake-up. Huh. Elward leans forward, her hands splayed on the table. Her black claws gleam in the low cafe light. You can tell me about it. If you want. Like, I'm over my breakup. But if you want to talk about yours, it's fine. I know sometimes it's like, just really on your mind. Just right in there. Uh, you're starting to feel even less great about lying. You fidget uncomfortably in your seat. No, you know what? You're supposed to be making friends here. Yes, in the past, it's been advantageous to go along with whatever people say until they like you. But you and Elwood are really connecting. You don't want her to just like you because she thinks you're sad. You want us to be real. You take a deep breath and tell Elward you don't have a recent ex at all. You tell her you were just trying to commiserate. She punches you in the face. The atmosphere immediately shifts. Elward sits back and the warmth goes out of her face entirely. What? Really? Oh. Huh. That's not really cool. Hmm. Oh shit, you can just feel her pulling away. Well, you can also see it because she's also physically pulling away from you. All signs point to losing this friendship. And that face. <laughs> yeah, that face isn't exactly. You're so sorry you tell her. It won't happen again. Um, yeah. Sorry. No offense, but it's not cool to lie about shit like that. It's pretty weird. She's completely detached now, barely even looking at you. I think this is going to turn around because, no, it's not. And well, we haven't failed yet. Yeah, well, she, yeah, she's not, we're not dead. We're not dead. It was nice to meet you, but it's probably best if you just go. See you in space, moo beast boy. Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> as much as it hurts, you have to agree. It's probably best to just cut your losses. You try not to let your disappointment show as you walk away. Oh, we did fail. Oh, we're crying. Usually, fail <laughs> <laughs> Usually okay. failure happens a lot faster than that. Let's try again. Oh, uh, did we do the previous one? Let's do this one. Uh, fake, do this one yeah. fake date? Yeah, it's just fake date. You say that could be cool. You say it super casually, like you pretend to be in a relationship with aliens every day of your life. Elward grins, clearly pleased. You're sure this was the right choice. Then again, you've thought that before, only to end up in terrifying, painful situations. But you're confident this time everything will be fine. That doesn't make me confident at all. That's great. Thanks for doing me a solid. I'll owe you one. 
She shoots you a finger gun and then winks. There's two finger guns. Two. We two. can't count. In what is now a deeply familiar story beat, Edward takes you back to her hive. It's pretty messy. You can understand why her ex would have a hard time finding something since she left here. You don't see any signs of Elysis, but that's probably rude to ask her about that with what how often trolls and other animals are murdered in this society. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you say things. <laughs> with what how often trolls <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't help it like I told you how I read right I don't read linearly I jump around a lot and have you get to get all the words and often. put them back together yeah it's it's a uh, it's not a very good search strategy That's uh, you ask Elward if you should get your story straight like how did you meet how long have you been dating who is the funny one and who always gets to choose the food on date nights? What's your middle name? Do you hate your job? Do you fall in love too easily? Yeah, I got a 3,000 word backstory for us to memorize. I can't read that many words. I'll be quizzing you on my fave movies. I can't read that many. <laughs> the, the joke is that the entire thing is just the favorite movie since the titles are so long. Yeah. <laughs> JK, huh? I'm not worried, lol. We can just wing it. Oh, I think she's here anyway. Sure enough, you hear a crisp knock on the door. Edward leans against the nearest wall and crosses her arm over her chest, looking bored. Come on in, girl. Oh my god! How is this bitch? <laughs> she would <laughs> itemize everything she has anyway. Yeah. Yes, she would. Another troll enters the hive. Hey, wait a second, you know this one. This troll is already your friend. That might be a good thing, but it might also ruin your chances with the friend you're currently chasing. And also your friendship with the one that you already are friends with, because you're you might supposedly have dating her ex. Everybody. Everyone's ruined. Our first choice might have been wrong, but maintaining your existing friendship is important too. You're going to have to find a way to balance this. She doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Um, Should I... Uh, you, no, well, you're awesome. It's, uh, fucking most popular girl next door, right? Yeah. Hello, Elward. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> we can make this the last time we have to see each other. If you would just hand over my favorite sweater. I don't have it. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. It's very simple. One, I was wearing it over here when we <laughs> broke up. Two, I keep careful track of all my belongings. Three, you think it's funny to antagonize me. All signs point to you having it. I don't want to fight again. Isn't it nicer if we collaborate? Who's fighting? I don't even remember what your sweater looks like. I don't really think about it. Or you. At all. Ever. Emotional dishonesty is a barrier to helpful communication. I'm not one of your little jades who have to listen to this crap. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to get dragged back into this. You're interrupting my date, Branya. More like boring ya, Lamau. I'm actually trying to hang out with someone who's not you right now. A real cutie. Oh man, oh no. A word makes a lazy gesture at you as if to indicate that pointing you out to Branya is barely holding her interest. You look to Bran at Branya and try to smile. You lift your hand in a tentative way. Hi, you say? Branya is taken aback. <laughs> <laughs> she looks back and forth between you and Elward a couple times, trying to make sense of the situation. And she does the cha cha. You and Elward? Well, this is a surprise. I didn't know you were looking for a romantic connection. I could have introduced you to some of my other jades. Not that I mind that you're with Elward. I wish only the best for her in all that she does. Elward rolls her eyes theatrically. Then she looks back at you. You two know each other? Bitch, don't we? She doesn't <laughs> look happy about it. You remember that the reason she wanted to fake date with you in the first place was to hold your cool alien status over her ex's head. 
Branya already knowing you has undoubtedly taken some of the wind out of her sails. You have to do something to turn this around. You don't want to be rude, Branya, but surely just hyping Elward is safe. You tell Branya thanks for the offer, but you're happy with the choices you've made. She looks a little hurt, but quickly rebounds. Of course. I wouldn't tell you how to conduct your personal life. I'm really just here for my sweater. Can you get it, please, Elward? Nah, lol. <laughs> you just lost it. Stop making excuses to come over here. This is getting pretty personal. You try to make yourself unintrusive as possible, pulling the collars to your, your well, Tagoria's robe to hide <laughs> your face. We're still wearing, We're still wearing robe. the fucking robe. <laughs> Someone might accuse you of manufacturing reasons for keep me keeping what? What? Someone might accuse you of manufacturing reasons for me to keep coming over by not giving it back. Lol. Okay, whatever. I'll just let you know if it turns up all right. Not all right. One, you've said that before and you've never followed through. Two, you never contact me first. Three, you're obviously not motivated to find it. I want to settle this once and for all. It's time to resolve our conflict. Jeez. I didn't steal your fucking sweater. Look, I want to resolve this too, but now just isn't a good time. Can't you just let me have some time with my new pal here? Hmm, it does seem like a reasonable request. This may take longer than I would have liked. I suppose I could leave it alone for now, but you can't just keep, it, keep avoiding me forever. Not just about the sweater. I'm not doing that. Ugh, didn't you get... Uh, didn't you get enough of talking about our feelings when we were actually together? Why do we have to talk about them now? Let's talk about it later then. I'd rather leave my friend here out of it anyway. Her friend! Wow! You breathe a sigh of relief. You don't have so many friendships yet that you could stand to lose one. You can now listen to the rest of the conversation with a touch more ease. I'll come back when you're more available. Please try to work with me on this. Thank you. Branya makes her way out. Eller watches her leave and then sags back against the wall, scowling. She seems to be in much lower spirits than she was earlier. Your heart aches. Friend or no, you want to see her cheer up again. You know what? She takes a brief, deep breath and looks over at you. I do have her sweater. <laughs> it's in the back of my closet. She starts laughing. You giggle a little, too. What just happened here is an opening. You witness something revealing, and now Elward is in a vulnerable position. You don't want to push her or annoy her, but she did loop you into this, and you can't waste this opportunity. It might be worth it to take a risk. She laughs like we laugh. Silently, while moving her entire body. <laughs> <laughs> you say hesitantly that it seemed like Branya was really desperate, like she's not totally over it. I know, right? I told you. You say that also, it's okay to not be over it 100% yet. But even if a relationship was wrong and you're way better off without it, sometimes you can still feel a little sad and it's fine. In fact, you say, it can make you seem emotionally deep in an extremely cool way. You give her a little smile. She smiles back. The snack that smiles back, Elward. <laughs> Elward. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saying that. You're really nice. You didn't have to do all that for me. Sorry for bringing you into this mess. Did you still want to get that drink? You're a good friend. Yay. Yay! Your heart overflows and you beam a brilliant smile at her. You feel the warm bloom of friendship opening its sweet petals in your heart. Friendship achieved. That's achieved. She wasn't a, a, a really shitty blue blood. She was kind of a shitty blue blood, but not I mean, like a really was, shitty blue. She was just sort of like average petty. Yeah, she was like a manageable level of shitty. Yeah. 
She's like, uh, we broke up, but I also kept your sweater. Um, (laughs) Okay, so we'll pick up the next two, two in one characters uh, next time on Fish Tank. Let's do it. Like, comment, subscribe. Fish Tank.